All right, so we are gonna go check out Gary's uh, Techno program. So whenever I see my yard is a mess here, we've been doing a lot of work. This is how you know uh, dedication right here, right? <laughs> I let them uh, completely dig up the yard and level it out, but I didn't let them go near my test garden. So <clears throat> when it comes to a new program, I'm going out hunting tomorrow, but the first thing I wanna do is obviously I loaded these settings in, but I want to give them a shot before I go hunting. Usually before I head out, if it's a program that I'm not used to, or um, it's a new program, I will load it up. So I have the Tecna loaded in here. It's using a sensitive full tone base, offset of 10, bottle cap zero. Uh, so there's our discrimination. We're in full tones with an offset of 10, bottle cap zero, silencer zero. Um, and we're in full tones. So the first thing I want to do is take it through the test garden, <clears throat> see what I'm hitting, especially when it comes to some deeper high conductors, some mid conductors over here. And then um, I have some small gold too that I want to check out. So let me just get this stuff out of the way. So let's look at, uh, so 70, seven inch IHP. Okay, hits that good. Let me bump up my audio. So you guys can hear it. All right, that sounds good. Six inch, large scent. Ooh, screams on that. 10 inch walk in half. This is pulled down by iron. So that's what's happening there. Let me go over to fast really quick. Okay, let's go back to it. I just like to compare a little bit before, uh, you know, so I don't remember what other programs do. This is an eight inch silver quarter. Well, let's take a look at some mid conductors, eight inch Buffalo nickel, no problem. 10 inch Buffalo nickel. Because um, this new Technic program uses a audio response of four, the deeper targets will definitely be lower like it is. I usually use a five. But you can hear it. An ID is 62. ID is 62. So it's spot on for those. Let's take a look at uh, one inch gold. Hitting it, and I'm not getting an ID. Two inch piece of gold. It's hitting that too. All right, so no issue with depth. This is an eight inch flat button. Rusty bottle cap. Okay, doing good there. Um, large iron. So this iron sidestep is probably going to come in good because we are not using any bottle cap. Yeah, so that's a 50 to 60. A little bit of bottle cap reject gets rid of that without an issue. All right, so depth wise, this program is doing good on high, mid, and low conductors. The gold, we're not getting the ID anymore like we would in fast, but that has to do with our discrimination. So let's go to fast really quick over the one inch gold. See that 31, 32? That's our ID, but we're hearing it with the Tecna program, but we're, uh, so it's hitting, but we're not getting the ID. That's a 99, just false. So we don't hear that, but it's coming through. So that, that's good. So test garden wise, I like the way it's performing on depth from low, mid to high conductors. Um, we'll set up some test blocks now. That's my usual routine and we'll see how it does on separation. So now we're out at my unmasking block. So we're gonna take a look. I'm really curious to see how the Tecna does on this just because we know that the Deus 2 
next to iron non-ferrous get brought down into the 789 ID range so we're going to take a look at how it does and um, you know we'll move back and forth to fast program if the Tecna doesn't hit it so I brought out a couple nails too just to make sure we're not falsing nope level two I didn't put the level one blocks out I know that it helped hit those fine so level two is where we start to raise the iron so this is a half inch raised nail next to a barber dime Okay, nice ID there, and a buffalo nickel. Okay, good ID there. But it's already starting to lose the ID on level two. Now level three from my testing in the past, and I'm pretty sure if you've watched any of the Deus 2 videos, you'll know that level three is where that ID starts to plummet down to seven, eight, nine. Now is the Deus 2 a great unmasker? It is, it will pull it through but you're gonna get that 789 ID. So whether it's a great unmasker or not is really dependent if you dig those 789s. I do not, I think I'm honest with everyone when they ask, I don't dig the 789s. I'm sure I'm missing things when I use the Deus 2, but when I'm just digging the 789s on these old cellar holes and home sites, I'm digging a lot of nails. So let's look now, we're at one inch raise next to a, this is a bobber dime, one inch raise nail. No ID, we're getting a little chirp. Let's see what Fast Program does on this one. And there's our nine. All right, we'll go back to the Tecna. And now this is a nickel. Nothing. Fast Program. nine now this uses sensitive full tones as a base and sensitive full tones is using i want to say the new filters but it's not really the new filters because um the last update reverted them back but they left sensitive full tones with those new more sensitive filters that help the id remain stable when you're unmasking but it's not going to help when you're disking to 42 like this so now we're at uh, level four, which is 1.5 inch raised, and here's a piece of gold. Close to it, pull up, nothing. I know just because these blocks are my control and they're consistent that fast hits this no issue. But there's our eight ID. All right, we'll stick it in, we'll leave it in fast and then we'll go to the Tecna. Here's a, now we're at a silver quarter. It's an SLQ. Not even an ID in fast with that one. That's a tough test, but it's hearing it. Let's see if the Tecna does anything. Nothing, nothing on it. It's there. See? As long as I keep that coil away from the iron. But nothing. So, what do I think about the Techno program? It's going to help with a silent search, having the disc like that. If you're out in a park or field that's clean, it's going to do a nice job. But if you are using the Techno at an old home site or anything by nails, we've seen even the Nocta score hit these level three blocks and it doesn't the deus 2 in the tecna is not hitting these and it's all because of that disc so i we've seen it do really good in the test garden but even on gold low conductors the high conductors um with the tone bringing it through but you're gonna it suffers when it comes to unmasking so i would not use this in trashy sites or trying to to relic hunt with it and i brought the nocta score out with me really quick just so i can show that even uh if you're familiar with the channel you've seen that before so the note to score this is as simple as they come for multi-frequency and it will even hit these level four targets silver that's a tough one but it still pulls it through and the gold with a nice id and we're not falsing 
on nails. There's a look at the Techna program. Everyone, thanks for watching. Okay, I just brought the Techna out really quick just to go over these because I realized while I was showing all these blocks, this was here and you couldn't see anything with the target. So here's the level three block. I think that's a better view for you. All right, that's the dime. Here's the nickel. All right, here's level four with the quarter. And level four with the gold. And I'll just go to fast really quick and go over these again. So we can take a look at that 789 ID. Here's the dime. Nickel. Quarter. And gold. I might have just sort of good idea on that gold on that quarter. No, it's still a nine. And the gold. <laughs> 